Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today uh, it's marvelous weather outside so we're gonna be working inside <laughs> um, yeah I just mowed the lawn somebody has to do it so also playing with a project over here a bunker thing but um, data center let's go in here and I have a new server that I'm gonna be playing around with the awesome SR650 uh, much like this one just with room for you know um, two and a half inch hard drives instead of two and a half inch hard drives so I want to put that in the rack somewhere um, and it seems like I have plenty of these M3 servers I have three of them here and I have two of them there so I think I think I can steal one of those spots and have like I didn't I have an M4 here and I have another M4 here uh, yeah I'm not gonna be doing that much moving around I just want I think I'm just gonna take this one out 15 out and then we're gonna be putting in the awesome Lenovo SR650 um, so that it will be sitting there very nicely maybe the rails can be reused we're gonna check that but yeah it's gonna be a short video I'm not doing much more than that might check what's in this number 15 Let, let's do that let's see I don't think there's any cables in it but let's pull it out carefully Yep, yeah, it comes out. What have I played around with in this one? Okay, so it has two CPUs, has some RAM. I haven't got my glasses. This is the holy grail of PCI Express uh, riser cards for the M2, M3. So that this one is important. I am not gonna, not gonna get rid of that one it's an x16 and they're very rare for this server model for the newer models they're regular but for this model they this was very hard to get uh, there are 16 gigabyte blocks in here there's like six of them so it's not a big deal so yeah we're gonna we're gonna take this server out and we're gonna try and make room for the SR 650. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to do some more video on the R 650, but well, the parts hasn't come in. So, uh, okay, to release this, there is two things to press here, and you pull the circle. Okay, try that again. There we are. And it comes up. And out. Okay, I went and picked up the SR650. That's the top server of these two. It's a little bit longer, but it's very obvious that these mounting points are not the same. Well, this top one, this first one is pretty much the same. Second one, totally out of, not a line at all. And then this one has two down here where this only has one so I think I have to uh, replace the rails they are not gonna be uh, fitting this server these rails are pretty easy to get out you press the blue button and, uh, this comes out and then this goes back it comes out so yeah we can do it again on the other side but to get to it you have to put the rail all the way in press the blue button oh. and there it's released uh, it's probably something else in the back okay 
here we are in the back my awesome cable management everywhere um, so let's get some of it out of the way somebody has put velcro on this and now that we need it out we might have to remove the velcro So, um, yeah, this is just some some cheese pulling it in. So you just press them down and it comes out. So easy peasy. Well, it's pretty normal to have a pair of rack rails in the back of the car, isn't it? So if you are uh, in need of a server, it's a very good idea to ask if when you're purchasing a server, if they have the rack rails. You can purchase these. Just last week I did a sponsored video with, with Bargain Hardware and I saw that the rack rails alone for a server, they're like 30 pounds. So they, well, you pay good money for the rack rails and often if you are buying, and often if you're buying a server from, from somewhere, you might get the rack rails with the server for free together with the with the trays up here these disc trays are not really something that a company is selling a server uh, don't want to give you they don't want to give you the discs that are in there but if you ask if you can have the trays and just take the discs out i don't see why they shouldn't just give that to you so old trays are out new trays in this says front front right so right and it has another this is kind of the same system it has a blue button oh and this works the other way you press the blue button and you press this back oh. apparently i messed that one up there okay so now i have to put it in Press the blue button. Okay. Good. And we'll do the left front. Same thing. Someone has been nice and already pressed it for me. There. And the back system I saw was the same with the with the things that, that grips on. Okay, I have a slight issue. These rails are way too long. I need to take them off again and see if I can shorten them. Oh stupid, why did I do both? Okay, it's not that difficult. So let's see, shorten, shorten, shorten. I found it. If I, if I roll out the rail here, there is a white button at the bottom here. And if I, if I press that, I can move this in. Uh, are we in view? We are in view. There. And this can move in and become a lot smaller. So, uh, yeah, we can do that. So, I am able to do that on the back, I think, without, uh, without taking the other one out. So, perfect. Put this back in. I had to take it out again it seems that to put the back in first because when you make the rails smaller when I press that button you can see that claws comes in and that means that uh, I can't get it in when it's small but when I get it out there is just that little bit more space so put them in the back first and then the front so now we should be able to take this put it there press the blue button and it's locked into place so now this is good let's see if I manage the other one. Oh, this is also not an issue okay so the back first way way easier yeah. I sure hope these are the right rails for the SR650 I didn't actually check it that closely 
so if it doesn't go in, this is this video is gonna suck. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, it doesn't actually look that great. No! I got the wrong rails! Dang it! This is the same rails as for the M3. Holes are in the same spots. I did a lousy job picking the rails. That sucks. Oh no! What a cluster fuck! Okay, <clears throat> we are temporarily sitting the SR650 on top of an M3 <clears throat> because um, yeah they don't use the same rails <laughs> so yeah I'm sorry about that that most definitely did not go as planned I uh, took those rails for that server and then they don't fit so I'm gonna have to go trade them with some that do I guess it needs four holes for the SR650 whereas this only has three Oh, I took them out. They're on the on back here. So um, yeah, anyone needs rails for an M3? Well, Bargain Hardware has them for sale, 30 pounds. <sighs> yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. This was a short one. Cluster fuck. Can I put that in the title? Hmm.